2.0. You're bringing, bringing back the Bullfrog. Tell us about it. Well, it's been nine years. Um, last, got, last got raised in 2015. Um, it's been a long journey trying to get it here. Uh, done a lot of work trying to bring it up to race rules, uh, prepping everything. It's, everything was pretty much on toast. The suspension uh, had a last minute transmission failure. Uh, and it's been a lot of one o'clock, one o'clock in the morning nights in the garage. But we're here and we're, we're ready to race. This is a, really a test for us to take it to the Baja Nevada the long way. Uh, that was my that was my long term goal. So we're ready and we're gonna finish. All right. So plans next year to do Baja Nevada, thousand mile race. What? Uh, I guess what? What's the driving factor to want to do that race next year? Um, really, it being the first, the first race, the first annual race of a pretty historic event in Nevada. It's not very often you see a thousand miles, even in America. So it's pretty exciting to have that even here in our home state. So to have this there will be awesome the first year. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and guys, I'm actually chasing for T Myers. Awesome crew, looking forward to it, and uh, we'll get into the race video now. Tell us about the race. Did you go through anything today or did you just, just drive it on in? We just drove it on in. We didn't really have any issues besides some overheating earlier on. And uh, as the sun went down, it kind of went away. But no flat tires, didn't break anything, which is pretty amazing. So we're happy to be here. Very good. So have you guys had this truck for a while or uh, did you buy it from somebody that raced it or have you been racing it in stock class for, for the duration? My dad and my grandpa built it back a uh, long time ago, and they, uh, my grandpa unfortunately wasn't around to get to see it race, but at first race in 2011, and my dad broke his back in it at the Fallon 24-hour Bora race. Wow. All right. I, I mean, that happens, too. Uh, I, I, buddy, uh, a friend of mine's dad broke his back in a truck as well, so, I mean, it does happen. Yeah, yeah and then uh, we, took a, we took a year break after that, and then it got rebuilt came back in 2013 and it got parked in 2015 nine years ago and this year just this year in may we decided hey why don't we why don't we bring it back out for the new baja nevada the long way very good yeah you know uh the other truck that i was talking about it is too and somebody bought it that's why i was thinking this was it so um 
I might have to give a call out here to get, get that truck out here just to make sure it comes to race uh, the last race. You can race the last race with us. I'm going to do, uh, this was just a test run for Baja Nevada the long way. So the 1,000 mile race next year. All right. That's the big one. So, well, I might have to just tell him to get it together and uh, have both trucks out here. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's talk about the people that make your race day happen. Uh, first of all, my parents are huge in this. Um, they were kind enough to, you know, you kind of hit it for me, but both my parents gave me the truck after we prepped it in a week before we're here. So thank you guys both. Uh, Jordan at Reno Cycles and Gear has been a huge help getting us here, uh, just donating the pony and helping me get it for a cheaper cost because um, we're on a budget. Uh, Nathan at Alchemy, he's been huge, I, another huge resource for me and helping me get going. Uh, my fiance right there, she rode in the car for the first 82 miles and she's like, I don't know if I ever want to do that again. Oh. <laughs> that's eight. You either you either gain one for life or you lose it for life. That's you know at least for the, as far as racing goes. That's you know all dude always take your spouse for the ride the race truck that way. You know right where they're at. And uh, last people I want to thank is these, rugged. yeah rugged of course, uh, and then the three three co drivers we had are brand new and we've all been in the garage one o'clock mornings yeah, pretty much for since May. <laughs> Isn't that great? You get them to help you say, hey, if you help me, I'll let you ride the truck. Exactly. Who was the other driver? There's a reason I know that phrase. Yeah. yeah. Who was the other driver? Oh, did your mom drove? <laughs> she drove from uh, Top Gun to... She drove from Top Gun to Mina. Well, this is just, this is exactly like the uh, the Sutherland story. They, his mom used to drive, his mom actually built a Stone Sock F100. Oh, sweet. So, you know what I mean? Sweet. So that's, that, this story is kind of very parallel. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. It was fun, man. I'm glad to have you out here. And uh, anybody you missed, you want to say thank you to? I think that's it. All right, well, uh, look on over here, right behind you guys, another photographer, our official legacy of photographer. I'm going to out the way in a Stone Sock. And uh, they basically got to run everything in stone stock position. And, uh, oh yeah, come towards me a little bit. Oh, yeah.